This is a PowerWorks podcast short with Glenn Power and me, James Pikeaway. Well, on Saturday, which was ideal for us, obviously. Yes. It's not like I had a day off or anything. And I get this phone call. I've just driven through a puddle, mate, and the car's gone off. All right. And, and obviously trying to be, because I'm obviously known as a really happy person. <laughs> I'm trying to be on, like. On a Saturday. Yeah. When, <laughs> when, <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to be optimistic. <laughs> oh, you know, it's a BMW, very sensitive electrically. Maybe it's just something shorted out. Yeah. Maybe that's all it is. And the, the kids are in the backseat. No, the car straight away. The, the kids no. in the backseat are going, they're yeah. shaking their heads. And going, I'm, and you're I'm doomed. Saying, you're I'm doomed. Saying, please, please don't. <laughs> Please don't keep trying to start it. Yeah. Please don't keep trying but to start it. But that's what we do, right? You go through the puddle because, oh, I'm going to try to start. Oh, maybe it's just water on the battery connections. Yeah, yeah. And you keep, we keep trying. Car. We keep trying. You're doing more damage. Yeah. And the worst part about it is the only reason he went through this puddle was because he had a dog grooming appointment. Oh, no. I mean, I don't know why he couldn't use the barbers, but like <sighs> he's gone through it for his dog grooming. Dog grooming. Do yourself. Don't, don't you get the dog groom? I mean, we always groomed our dogs ourselves, but they come to your house. No, but or maybe go tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, it's rainy. It's still you know, it's really bad the out there. Minute, wait another week. Yeah. Um. So that was the worst part about it. And then, it, so so the phone call was this. I, I got no other information. And then the next thing I get was a video. Oh no. The video is, and I'm going to just fact check myself here because, yeah. well, uh, I don't think I shared this video with you. No, you only shared you only shared the the car being repaired sitting outside the garage and DJ your colleague running for cover. That, brilliant word, it. that's what you shared with me uh, and, and really, it was frightening what when i was watching that i was going i wouldn't be standing anywhere near that car so the next video i've turned the sound down because i think there's some I think there's, yeah so the next video yeah that's a pajero coming towards the vehicle oh no is it not looks like a grand Vitara. what a car oh, even better so it's coming towards him yeah the water's up he's over, at the side of the road and he's in a puddle yeah this is coming towards him it's up over the front bumper <laughs> of the and he's in a puddle. <laughs> That's in not a, a BMW puddle. five series. Oh no, no, no! Like and then that. he just shows me down to his dashboard where his hazard lights are flashing. Yeah, no, no. That that's you see that you start going in and it's getting too high. It's like, yeah, hold on, I'm pulling right over to the side. I'm getting out of this thing. So what we what we do in these situations is we take the spark plugs out of the engine, and that allows the engine cylinders to not hold compression okay. because there's a massive gaping hole there where the spark yeah. plugs would have been. And then we turn the engine over to fire the water out of the cylinders, and then we'll... Yeah. But because this has a turbo on it... It's not a problem. Yeah, the water's got to get through the turbo. Now, these turbos are designed in a way where they try to avoid lag, so they're very, very fine veins on oh, the oh propellers. No. Oh, no. And, they, and I'm sure they don't like water. They can't compress water. <laughs> so something's gone horribly wrong there, for sure. Probably before the engine, even. Yeah. But even if not, whatever. So... We've realized quickly that mm, we're going to have to drain the intake, which is going to mean we're going to have to pull the uh, hose off of the turbo because otherwise it's just going to keep sucking in. Now, if it's got a turbo, it's got an intercooler. An intercooler oh, okay. probably holds three, four liters of water, maybe even more than that. Uh-huh. So all of this water is in there. And, the, the, and some of the hoses are, you couldn't get your arm in them, but they're big. Yeah. And, you know, you, I, I, I would... Has it a guess that full from air filter to intake, you probably maybe 20 litres you could have had in there. Man, okay. So you've got a massive problem because you can't just get all the water out. So we'd have to then, so we disconnect the turbo and the water just <laughs> floods out, you know, and it's like, oh man. So I, I sent you the, the video of the yeah. intake holes to the brim from the bottom of the air filter and obviously the only thing stopping that was the fact that it couldn't go anywhere because everywhere was full and he just gradually went through a little bit of a puddle 